Hello all you hardcore football fans out there, it's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore football. <laughs> And I'm joined by Dennis Sobson and Dennis just wants to let you know about uh, a little event that's coming up at Matlock Town FC. Matlock Town FC, and where's that Dennis, in the country? Is that it's Derbyshire? Uh, Derbyshire, yeah, uh, I think it's six miles down the road from Bakewell. Great part of the world, uh, Chesterfield I think it's about eight miles, so it's not that far from us. I'm the president of Matlock Town FC, a lovely little club which is kept going by a lot of volunteers and it's a beautiful setting. Five and a half thousand sell out they get there, don't they, Dennis? I wish. I wish. <laughs> no, I that's wish. what it says on Wikipedia, doesn't it? No, it? that's what the capacity is. Capacity is, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we get about 500 people yeah, watching. Yeah. That's uh, true. We're third from the top of the league. We're at Whitby on. We was at Whitby on Saturday and won 3 0. But yeah, on December the 5th, we're doing a fundraising event, which is obviously dear to my heart uh, because uh, I promoted Ricky Atten. It'll be Ricky Atten telling some of his stories. Yeah. Uh, I'll be sat on the top table, I'm sure we'll say, share one or two stories, so it'll be a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a little bit extra other than just one of Ricky's uh, evenings with. Yeah. Assuming. Uh, Is it like a night out then? It's Ricky. It's Ricky. I don't know, I think he's quite a um, teetotal kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he likes a party old Rick, but he's good company, he's good fun. It's going to be good fun. We share a lot of real stories, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Richard yeah, Towers, who used to be promoted by uh, Ricky, he'll be on the top table probably as well with me. Um, and uh, he used to be promoted by Ricky, and obviously he's working with me now as well uh, on one or two projects. So, um, looking forward to us all being together and sharing some stories, it's going to be great. Yeah, uh, and how. How would people go get about Dennis getting a well, ticket if you for can, this event? If you can email us on dennishobson at hotmail.com or ring our office on 01142 433443. Uh, that's for tickets. And uh, uh, we've only got, well, we've got uh, 20 tables. I think we've done 12 already. We had the tickets being printed. The tickets yeah. will be ready this week. So anybody who wants to book a table or a ticket, just get in touch with us. We'll make sure you have a fantastic night and it's all for a good cause because we're raising money for uh, a non-league football club mm. who, are, who are trying to do the best and it's, in, it's, it's a great location and gives some of these kids uh, an opportunity to maybe further their career. We've got one kid at Matlock Town now who, who uh, football league clubs are looking at, he's just 20. He got released by Everton years ago and uh, he's, he's got a chance of getting back in, so mm. it's a platform for kids. We signed a kid from Matlock to Sheffield United uh, as, a, as a first year pro uh, with Sheffield United, so he signed a three year deal. He was, he was only 18, we signed, he signed uh, with Sheffield United earlier this year, Ashton Hall. So, you know, we are a, we are a feeder club yeah. as well. Uh, it's a smashing little club. Uh, so, like I say, I'm going to be trying to do one or two bits of fundraising for him. And uh, this first one, Ricky Atten, obviously, it's he's, uh, he's got a lot of meaning because obviously I promoted Ricky for, pal, yeah. for, for two or three years and broke America with him and got him to the Mayweather fight. And obviously, there's quite a few stories that we share together. Yeah. And uh, I'm writing a book soon, by the way. Oh, yeah? yeah what are you going to call it, Dennis? I've not thought about it. What Have you got any ideas? Yeah, yeah, you could call it uh, Scrap Man. Dennis Robson uh, after the after the bell. Or could we call it Scrap Man to Scrap Men? Or uh, Obson's choice. A choice, a choice of yeah. Yeah, could a be choice out. of uh, a choice of the Dennis Robson alive and kicking. I'll have to think about something. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Yeah, we'll but we've, I've got a few stories to tell. Well, could you have a forward for book by? Uh, Who'd forward your book, Dennis? Glenn McCrory or Clinton? Hey, old Dennis! We could have him talking before. Our last is not me about again, Dennis. Um, no, I've got Bob Aram, Don King, and you know people like that. Mm. Um, they, I'm sure they'd do me a forward, but a good one would be Ricky or yeah, Ricky or, uh, or, 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 or Glenn. Uh, but, McCrory, but, yeah. but, you know, is Glenn coming up night? I'd like to think so. Yeah, but, like. Um, Rick, Ricky's a legend, isn't he, in boxing? You know, yeah. at the time when when I was promoting him, he was 
the biggest commodity in in British boxing. Yeah, oh, massive, wasn't it? It was massive, massive and, it, and it and it were a it were a dream to promote him. But we worked hard, and I did a I'd like to think I did a fantastic job. And yeah, I'd you like went four him, and zero with Ricky, didn't you? Four and zero, thirteen and zero with Jamie McDonald. The world title every 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 fight I did with him were winning a different world title. Yeah. So it it, it were a, it were a, probably if you you look back I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna say this anyway arguably the most successful part of Ricky's career. Where were you financially with, with wise, wasn't it? Yeah. Financially, but like title wise, mm. he won different titles with me all the time. He went he won the WBA. Uh, light welterweight, yeah. so unified. Then he stepped up on the WBA welterweight title. Then he come back down and won. I mean, the, was no, he crazy. won. He won the IBF light yeah. welter, which which uh, one Urango got. And then against Castillo, he he got the IBO. They were all tough fights. The IBO though, them weren't they? Really, they but, were all top guys. They were all them. top. Yeah, they were all well, you know. Oh, were the guy who stopped with body shot and then caught Mayweather at Castillo? Castillo. Yeah, Castillo, yeah. That were, I remember seeing that. That, 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 that were it. Pumper Chocker watching that when I watched that. Well, I would have. My daughter's on the night side. It was Jessica Sung, Sung didn't she? Yeah, yeah. so like, uh, I, yeah, I made that happen. Um, but I put that together and it was just a matter of like, it's like timing and matchmaking. Yeah. I didn't fancy it, I didn't really want to collapse so far, I'll be honest with you. Um, but it, it happened. But can we, can, while I've got you on the Ricky Atten situation, Ricky yeah. Atten story, Dennis, can we just clear up the the actual? We know about when you were going to sign for Barry Earn and then you turned, we, we've spoken about that. Yeah. You asked him to turn car around and give you another 24 hours. So he signed 48 you know, hours. 48 hours, so. So we know about that. But uh, the actual Mayweather fight, did you want the Mayweather fight? No. No, and that's where you sort of parted, didn't no, you? No. Um, it wasn't because of I didn't want the Mayweather fight. They, they'd gone behind my back, and not Ricky though. Not Ricky because he was just he thought everything were okay, mm. um, but his dad and whoever else were um, they were they were negotiating behind my back, and I was supposed to be his promoter, and we'd shook hands on it and everything, and so I thought we'd got a special relationship. Uh, he kept telling me we like family and we we're old school. We do it on a shipping yeah. van, so I shook his hand, uh, Ray, and uh, I didn't I didn't honour it. So Ray Atten went behind your back. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did, and uh, I used to like Ray a lot. And his mum, Carol, always had a great relationship. Matt, I've got all the time in the world. And it's just a shame because there were no need to do what they did yeah. because if they had stuck with me. Uh, Ricky's career would have ended up in a lot better shape. Yeah. In of you know getting stopped in his hometown um, by Rick Shevchenko or the kid's name. Um, it, was, it was a crazy fight to take for Ricky at that time, and Ricky would have ended up promoting with me. Would have promoted. Together. That's what his plans were: promoting together and everything like that. And uh, we you all got on really well. Would have been benefits now, wouldn't you? You'd be massive, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, me and Ricky would have been yeah, brilliant and. I were happy to be like a co-promoter with him or whatever we yeah. wanted to do because we got on so well and it weren't all about just mm. the money situation for me it were about of like it's a passion yeah one if I'm successful and I make things happen I want I want pain you want to if let's if you make do things well, happen shirt cake don't you yeah guys? but let's make things happen let's get successful first and then share the cake let's not hold your hand out before something's Done. There's so many people want to hold down there before they've done anything. Don't work like that, does it? No, I've never been like that. You've got to play it long game, haven't you, then, and try and create something. Well, we were creating, and obviously Ricky were already there, but the Mayweather fight, uh, I didn't think we'd need to, to take that at that stage. Ricky's brand was just growing and growing. It'd have been oh, massive. It was massive, wasn't it? And it'd have earned endorsements outside the ring. We're, we're, he doesn't seem to up. have got all that, does he, Dennis? All them endorsements like people thought he did. Well, they were going to be getting because we were working on it. It'd have been like Joshua and I, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably or bigger. And like when he thought, yeah, he got probably 15 million. He thought, unbelievable what he got. But he, but if he'd have waited and built his brand up, he might have got 30, 50 million. Yeah. For that fight, because that's how big it could have been. So, yeah. you know, uh, but he's, he's had a fantastic career. And he's got some great stories to tell, and I'm looking forward to sitting next to him and sharing one or two of the stories. And uh, hopefully, mentions me in a good light, which I'm sure he will, because we've we've never had a wrong word. Yeah, never yeah. had a wrong word, and I've got so much respect for him. And, and he made my job easier, easy. So when uh, I were promoting him, no, no job at that level is easy, but he made it easier 
because he, he were promoting me. He were telling everybody out what a great promoter I was and he were like he weren't just taking from you, he were, he were, he were bigging you and he make, you know, making you positive and he were opening doors for you. So he, he were like pushing and open doors, he, he, he were tremendous. Instead of having to graft a way to get people to buy into you, uh, they were already bought into me because Ricky had already spoke about me as a promoter and look yeah. what he can do, look what he did for Clinton Woods, look what he's doing for me. And it were like a dream, yeah. it were a dream. So yeah. a, a, a very memorable and great time we're a great fighter uh, I'm sorry he's had his ups and downs because he has he's, he's, he's mm. publicly known about his depression and stuff like that and I don't like to see that because you know he's put his life on the line in the ring um, and he's and he's generated some fantastic entertaining nights for the public and uh, you know he's an icon and he's, he's um, yeah he, he, he lets his guard down a little bit when he goes partying but He's a lovable rogue in a way, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so I've got great stories, and he's, and he's very humorous. So, uh, anybody who wants to come on December the fifth, I'm sure they're going to enjoy the show. So it'll be a fantastic night. Yeah, it's a good Christmas present for people, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's, if there's no obviously table tickets, that right? will sell out very, very yeah. quickly. And that might uh, be gone by the time we put this up. Well, I, I, I don't know. I think. Uh, we're only getting the tickets done this week, yeah. so hopefully uh, if you can get that out of the shop, there's yeah. going to be a few yeah. tickets left. We've got about 10 tables left, we've done half of them before we've yeah. printed the tickets, so uh, I'm sure it should sell out. It's a thousand pound a table, but that includes photograph in a, in a, I don't know, you know, a holder. Yeah, you, get yeah. a, you get a live photograph, that will be done on the night, uh, a meal. And uh, a table where it will, and, and like, like I said, I get photographic uh, opportunities. So, yeah, it's, 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 I suppose it, it's a lot of money, but it's what you're getting. You're getting photographing, you're getting decent food, and things like that. It's not just, it's not just rubbish food. So they're expensive to put together as regards the photographs and the food. Mm. Uh, if it was just an evening with, and it was just an audience, it'd probably be like thirty quid less, but mm. thirty, thirty-five quid less. But um, we've got all the food and everything to pay. 30 or 40 quid left. Is there any singing on, Dennis? Well, if I have a few whiskeys, you'll be singing Fly me to the moon Let me play amongst the stars Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter or Mars <laughs> In other words, please be true In other words, I love you. <laughs> uh, that's good, that then. He says, You were singing at Peter Fury's uh, birthday that one, party. Yeah. He came up to me, Peter, and he says, Here, yeah, Dennis can sing, can't he? <laughs> we have a good home with Pam. We have a good home with Pam. Yeah. Uh, Terry and Rico, stick. So I'll give them a shout out to come and get a ticket. There you Thank go. you for your support, everybody. I hope we don't get. Uh, let's never get personal. It's all banter and it's all good for boxing and all, all this social media, especially like what you're doing, yeah. Russ, is fantastic for boxing yeah. and we are yeah. you people, uh, well with you people it makes yeah. our job easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tell, well, should we tell Stig not to get too upset with people abusing him on Twitter? Dave? Yeah, don't it's get upset. I, I, to be honest, I try not to read some of the negative comments but yeah. uh, I know there's a lot of banter because he's the, the way of the world. But yeah, yeah. Try not to get upset, and I hope other people don't get too upset with him or yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if anybody's ever said anything about you, I say Ru Russell is a good guy at yeah. heart. Yeah. He loves the game, passionate about the game, mm -hmm. and some people, I suppose, either misunderstand stuff. I don't know exactly sometimes yeah. what what's your you've said or what they've said. But I know you're not a bad person. I'm sure Stig Hinton and I'm, and, I'm, yeah. and I know telling. I don't know Stig that well, but I know. Obviously, you're my pal. Yeah, um, and tell. He's, he's, he's never been in trouble in his life, and they were calling him some really vile names on there. Well, that, that's nice, that's it? pathetic, isn't it? Mm. It's rubbish. But some of the emails I wake up to is disgusting. Yeah, but I yeah. think it's people in industry than me. At pro I don't yeah, but like, uh, why? Why do we have a yeah. bit of banter? Look, I don't like like Sonny Edwards having a pop at Tommy. And I think he had a little dig about me in a way, and then I was like. All right, I'm not happy about it, but it's banter and it hopefully it sells. And when we when he when we together, we, we we'll end up having a laugh. Yeah. But it's business. Yeah, it's business. Yeah, yeah. And like if he has a name coming at some stage, him and Tommy, let's get it on. 
yeah. and then hopefully they both come out of the fight safe yeah. and both get a good few quid because you want them to be both financially secure yeah. for the rest of their life. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes some of the things they come out with, I don't necessarily like it. But a bit of banter does mm. does the game good. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. So yeah. keep it up and uh, don't get too wound up, people. Yeah. Uh, about it, as long as nobody gets too personal. Yeah. All right. So right then. So December the fifth, Ricky Atten, Matlock Town Football Club. Get in touch with Dennis Hobson Promotions. Dennis Hobson at Hotmail dot com, or just get in touch. Inbox me on Twitter or. Porky corner at mail.com, email me and I'll explain how you can get tickets. And well, good night. And if you get there, you'd get an interview maybe. With a special Porky. guest. We could have a competition who wants to be interviewed on the night and yeah. then we can get a special photograph with you, with Ricky, because we yeah, can organise yeah. all that. Yeah. And maybe the fella who wins the competition, if they buy tickets, yeah. uh, Ricky will big them up on Porky's we'll Corner. Have a, we'll have a uh, competition on Porky's Corner and uh, the winner, right, I'll think of something in the next couple of hours and the winner uh, can, uh, I'll tell you what, who, hang on, here's a question for you, here's a question for you, where did Dennis Hobson put his first boxing show on? Where did he promote his first boxing show? Now if you go on Box Rec, it'll tell you Pine Grove, but you did put something on somewhere else in an amateur night, wasn't it, Dennis? An amateur night, wasn't it? No, no, no. No, were it a professional? Glen Rhodes were, uh, were, were a top of the bill. Get right, so, but, right, see if they can guess where it was, yeah? And you were the promoter on the night, yeah? And somebody's going to be ringing. <laughs> somebody's going to be ringing. Uh, Glen. For answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll do that then, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Alright then, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Alright folks? Alright, cheers.